We are in the Telescope Bay area where climate change is evident. Drastic coastal erosion has taken place along these parts. The aim of this project is to restore the beaches and to preserve what's left. Nature Conservancy, in partnership with Windward Island Research and Education Foundation with support from Government of Grenada, has embarked on a project that seeks to restore and preserve the Greater Granville Bay area. Consultants from Colombia are presently on island. They are here working in conjunction with Nature Conservancy and Windref, providing training to coral gardeners who are fisher folk from communities around Granville. This forms part of a larger project. The main goal is to protect the telescope beach. Orlando Harvey, Marine and Coastal Project Manager for the Eastern Caribbean with Nature Conservancy, explain what it entails. Give training our coral nursery gardeners, um, who is a community fishers here, um, and then we're putting our nurseries out into the water to start um, getting ready for um, future components of the project. So what we're doing today, the coral nursery is part of a larger project that we have for the entire Bay of Grenville. Um, so part of it is to do some uh, reef restoration. And the entire the main goal of that reef restoration project is to um, protect the telescope beach. So if you look behind me, you will notice that over the years we've had a lot of erosion of the beach. Um, so the goal is to have um, some restoration work done on the reef. And as by improving the, the health of the reef and, and um, restoring the reef, we would protect the coastline. So we would help to halt um, for the erosion of the beach, and then we would have um, improvement in the beach itself. So a lot of the buildings, the homes, the houses, the roads along the Granville Bay that is being threatened right now by erosion, the, the um, ultimate goal is to try to help um, improve that situation. Fanora Montoya is a certified ecological restoration practitioner facilitating the training. Today we are using one of the techniques that is available for coral propagation or for coral gardening, which is called microfragmentation. So we have built some nurseries that are already placed in the water and they're going to hold the corals for about six to eight months when they reach certain size that they're ready to be outplanted to the reefs. But to get there, we first need to propagate those corals. So through fragmentation, we take a large colony and then we break into little pieces of corals that with time they're gonna grow to become single colonies. Microfragmentation will allow the corals grow faster up to 60 times much faster than normal rates. He added that in the Granville area there is one restoration project that encompasses two sites, Subis and Telescope. Carl Forbes is a project manager with Innovative Nature-Based Solutions. She says their environmental project's main focus is in Subis St. Andrew. Because if you realize, a lot of people are living on the shoreline itself. And um, it, it, it's, it's where are they going to go? So this, in a, in a sense, is to help them to, to be able to enjoy the space that they're in and not be frightened of, of what's to happen. And especially in the Subis area where, where the project is, is mainly focused, um, a lot of businesses are on that shoreline there also. So it's also to help the businesses and the community members on a whole. This project is financed by the Caribbean Biodiversity Fund under the Ecosystems Based Adaptation Facility. With the replanting of these corals, it is hoped that in years to come, we would see the transformation along these parts. I am Chris Lena John for GBN News.